Okay, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? As you can tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, you know what's about to happen. But actually, you don't. So today I'm about to show you guys a cheap trick, cheap hack, whatever you want to call it, for your tailgate assist. 20 bucks off eBay or wherever you shop. Shouldn't be no more than $30. Got this here. Package all your tools, and this is your shock spring, whatever it's called. All right, let's get right into it. I'm gonna take you to step one. This thing's heavy. All right, so we're gonna start with this uh, nut zert tool. Man, it's like a gold-looking color. We're gonna put it in this hole, this first hole right here. Now. I'm gonna use a mallet, a rubber mallet to kind of like jam that in there. Cause this, you don't want this to come out. All right, so I got it in there. It's kind of loose, so I don't know if this is right. So I ended up putting Loctite on the, the bolt here. Then put this, um, the bolt on it. You're supposed to let it sit for an hour. I had it sitting out in the sun, probably about 15 minutes, so we'll see if that works. I'm gonna put this in here again now, and we're gonna try to jam that nut in there. Huh? So we got the blind nut tool, that's what it's called, I guess. We got that in there, secure. Now we are going to insert the ball mount in here. I'm gonna put Loctite on here as well. Grab your 13 millimeter wrench, tighten that joint. I said that's about right. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna work on the second bolt up here. I'm gonna take this off. All right, so we got that. All right, so we got that bolt tight on there. Uh, and I put the lock tight on there, so we're good on that end. Now, we're on to the next step. And that next step is clipping this back onto here. All right, there we go. Got that clipped on there. Now, it is telling us to remove this end of the cable. So we'll do that next. All right, so we took the limiter off this piece right here. This was connected to here and then we reinstalled it. And now we're on to the next step, which is putting this clip on here. You wanna put this three and a quarter inch down and using a plier, clamp this on just to stop it from tangling or, you know. We're good. Now we're gonna install the shock. So yeah, you wanna put the big end, which is this end here. This is the narrow end, this is the big end. You wanna put the big end at the top. You wanna put the big end on the ball mount. You get the point. You see the first one. And we should be 
all good. Now, I hope this stuff don't rub or anything. I'll let you guys know how it does in a bit. But let's check it out now. <laughs> 